Welcome to our channel, please hit the subscribe button so that you'll be notified whenever our new video comes out. Words is a short story by Carol Shields published in 1985. The story is from the third-person point of view by an unnamed narrator. It revolves around the ideas of communication, importance of language and silence while dealing with climate change. Words is a story about two people named Ian and Isabel. At the International Conference on Climate Change while representing his northern country, Ian first saw Isabel. Before they fell in love, Ian and Isabel learned each other's languages, which are English and Spanish. Their connection grew through the words they used, and surprisingly, Ian was initially attracted to Isabel's voice that was as rare and fine as a border of gold leaf rather than her appearance, hinting at the underestimated power of words. A decade later, Ian attends the conference by himself as Isabel stays home with their children. It is revealed that the temperature of Earth rises due to the proliferation of language and excessiveness of the words. Sadly, the conference's language and tone remain unchanged over a decade. While urgent action is required to combat global warming, Ian, while making a passionate speech, takes a stand by choosing silence as a vow. Perhaps, Shields aims to convey that addressing global warming demands actions beyond mere words, a message that resonates strongly. This decision comes at a cost, as his relationship with Isabel starts to break down as they feel like strangers living together, not a couple anymore. Isabel considers his action to be quite selfish and made without taking his family into consideration. Though, it seems that Ian committed a good deed but the situation regarding rising global warming remains unchanged. Ian might have thousands of followers who, like him, stopped talking, but they are powerless to change things on a global scale. This is because the people in charge care more about money than protecting the Earth's future. Ian and Isabel both feel helpless. Isabel can't do anything because Ian doesn't talk but she finds a way to share her feelings by joining a poetry group while Ian suspects Isabel of infidelity. Ian realizes his error when he hears Isabel's voice in the poetry group after following her to assuage his doubts. Even though he tries not to talk, Ian's love for Isabel makes him say her name. Isabel has to teach him how to talk again, just like they shared languages before and fall in love again giving hope that their relationship might get better. Yet the problem of global warming will not be solved until the people in power start to acknowledge and change their words surrounding this issue with credible actions and affirmations. In words, the way Ian and Isabel connect through language demonstrates the profound impact words can have on building relationships. Ian's attraction to Isabel's voice instead of her appearance emphasizes how words hold a deeper resonance than physical traits. Ian takes a vow of silence to protest global warming. His silence speaks volumes, highlighting that actions can often convey more than words. This silence becomes a powerful tool to draw attention to the urgency of combating climate change. The story also suggests that the proliferation of words has contributed to the rising temperature of the earth, emphasizing how words can shape perceptions and even impact the environment. The story emphasizes how Ian and Isabel's connection is built upon their shared languages, English and Spanish. This illustrates that language acts as a bridge, enabling them to understand each other and establish a meaningful relationship. The contrast between Ian's silence and his previous use of words also stresses the importance of communication. Ian's decision to not speak becomes a poignant commentary on the ways in which silence can also communicate powerful messages. Isabel's participation in a poetry group and Ian's later struggle to regain his ability to speak highlight the significance of expression in fostering understanding and emotional connection. The suspicion Ian develops due to lack of communication with Isabel illustrates the impact of mistrust that can arise when open dialogue is absent in relationships. This indicates the importance of open communication between partners for a healthy relationship to flourish otherwise it will lead to frustration, mistrust, and resentment. The story explores the conflict between Ian's personal commitment to silence for a cause and the potential selfishness of his action, considering its impact on his family and relationship. This leads to both Ian and Isabel feeling powerless in different ways by Ian in his quest to influence change and Isabel due to Ian's silence. The tale stresses upon the significance of individual agency and influence. The backdrop of a climate change conference in the story addresses the theme of climate change and global warming. The conference setting serves as a microcosm for the urgency of addressing this global issue. Ian's presence at the conference, where he represents his country, calls attention to the importance of international cooperation in combating climate change.
Ian's decision to vow to silence at the conference highlights the need for tangible actions to complement discussions and initiations. The tension between corporate greed and environmental responsibility is explained in words. The story implies that the temperature rise on Earth is a consequence of excessive words, paralleling the idea of excessive consumerism and industrialization leading to environmental degradation. The conference's unchanged language and tone highlight how powerful entities, driven by financial motives, might resist change even in the face of pressing environmental issues. Ian's vow of silence becomes a symbolic stand against this inertia and the prioritization of profit over the planet's well-being. The theme of corporate greed versus environmental responsibility calls attention to the need for ethical decision-making and the greater good in the face of environmental challenges.